My fellow Jamaicans, Lady Allen and I greet you very warmly today as we celebrate once more the joys of the Christmas season. We do so reminding ourselves of our collective need to maintain that all-encompassing duty of care. It is an accepted feature of the rhythm of our lives that there are times of spiritual awakening, particular pleasure, excitement, and deep personal satisfaction when we experience a strong desire to share our joy generously and embrace our neighbors with goodwill and kindness. Christmas for many Jamaicans is one of those times when warmth and friendliness characterize our relationships and long may it remain so. Because each of us has a duty of care, that spirit of benevolence should last way beyond the season. It calls us to be good neighbors to our fellow citizens, demonstrating the concern for their welfare and our respect for them as sharers of our common space together. As we celebrate during this season, let us commit to engage whenever and wherever we identify an opportunity to support one another and to affirm our concern for the uplifting of our people. In building the peaceful and productive society to which we aspire, we need to be consistent and purposeful in our effort to exercise that duty of care. In this spirit, I make a special appeal in relation to our youngest group of Jamaicans. Our Christmas traditions here and elsewhere in the world have placed children at the center of our thoughts, our planning, and our giving. We can use the opportunity of Christmas to instill in our children the value of enjoying, caring, and protecting not only the gifts which are very often perishable, but the intangibles, that is, the pleasures and responsibilities of family life, sharing with others, protecting themselves from uncomfortable attention, feeling safe to confide in their parents, teachers, and caregivers, and striking a good balance between work and play. These can all contribute to building that brighter future for our children. The late iconic founding president of the modern Republic of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, once said, and I quote, there can be no keener revelation of a society's soul than the way in which it treats its children, end of quote. It is also true that our future together will depend on how the nurturing of our children today impact the kind of society they shape for the rest of the population when they become the adults and in control of our nation. Let us as a people take time this Christmas to contemplate the significance of the season. Let us make it truly a time of peace and goodwill. May the fellowship we enjoy in our families as we share with others cause us all to be grateful both for what we receive and for the opportunity to give. And so together, Parents, guardians, children, young and old, employed and seekers of employment, leaders and citizens, all of us Jamaicans, may the spirit of caring and sharing remain with us beyond the season and into the years ahead. A joyful, safe and caring Christmas to all. Mm -hmm.